Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm the creator here behind Myrtle and Robin. Welcome back to my channel if you have been here before and it's nice to meet you if you haven't. Um, so for today's video, I have some mail, some really important mail that I need to send out that I will be working on. And I have some other fun things from Paradise Fibers that I will be opening later. So get cozy and come along with me today while I get my save the dates out and posted and open up some fiber. Now that I'm putting away the very last one, I'm going to show you an up-close look of these Save the Dates. I designed them myself in Canva. It was definitely a labor of love with lots of rough drafts and going back and forth with my fiancé, but I'm really excited to send these out to our guests. Alright, now that those are all packaged up and ready to be sent out, let's open up the subscription from Paradise Fibers for February. So there's hearts on this package, definitely getting Valentine's Day vibes, maybe we'll get some more pinks and red hues, um, maybe something along those lines. That's what I would expect in opening up this package, but let's see. I definitely didn't struggle as much opening everything up this time, thankfully. So in our first pink bag, so this is not what I expected at all. This is definitely not pinks or red tones. This is something more muted and natural. We have a really nice light brown sort of chocolatey color. And this fiber is so soft, guys. It is lofty and fluffy and soft. I don't know what's in it. It doesn't strike me as like a sheep wool straight off the bat. It feels much more like mm, Angora or something on the fluffier side. I like to wait until the very end to find out what I got. Um, so we're gonna wait until we get everything out of the bag and then we'll read through um, what Paradise Fibers gave us. So that's the first one. And I really like this bag. It's a very pretty color. And we have another big fiber bundle here. And this is in a red bag. I might need to steal these for something else later. They'd work really well for gifts. So another neutral toned fiber. Oh, this one reminds me of like a caramel swirl ice cream. It's got a little bit more of density to it. It's not as fluffy as the first one. Definitely a different feel. It feels a lot more like sheep's wool. I like the caramel tones to this one. I think it will spin up really pretty. It'll be nice to see all those colors blend together. Mm, it feels like we still have quite a bit of fiber left in here. So another bag. And this is a brighter red bag on this one another neutral toned fiber so we're definitely not going for the pinks for valentine's day we're going more for chocolatey colors this one has a nice silvery tone to it and a little bit of a sheen it also has a similar density to the second bag where it's not as fluffy as the first fiber we pulled out and there's another fiber packet in here Ooh, this is a really pretty colored bag. So for this one, we have more gray tones. Not quite as silvery as the one that I just pulled out. Um, much more gray. It doesn't have as pretty of a sheen as the silvery toned one, but it's still very nice. This one also has a nice density to it. And, oh, there's a small fiber bag too, a little small sample. It's really cute. Wow, this is really soft. I don't know at first touch what this is. 
um, but very soft. Very slippery feeling. And then here is our Notions bag. For our tea for February, we have wild raspberry and hibiscus, really going in line with the pink theme. And then for the sticker for this month, we have Eunice <laughs> dressed like an angel and with a harp, but on a rope because I guess because sheep can't fly. That's really cute. That's a cute idea. I like that a lot. I might need to put that one in my bullet journal. I like to save a lot of these stickers on a special little spread in my bullet journal just because they're so cute. And then we have a couple stitch markers this month. We have this pretty heart that kind of looks like it's an imitation druzy, and then some smaller hearts that you can put on your needle. And now I am pulling out the theme from Paradise with Love. This is really pretty, but it kind of reminds me of a, um, what's it called? A Taylor Swift album sort of color, uh, cover art. And then we have some info here on possible projects you can do. It looks like they're recommending weaving with all these different yarns or all these different fibers all together, creating kind of like a fiber sampler in natural colors. That's a neat idea. I was thinking about doing something like that with my breed study. And then now we have our whole selection of items here. So in the light pink bag, the first one I pulled out, that is the Chocolate Kiss. That's 40% alpaca, 30% BFL, and 30% Polworth. I really like Polworth. Alpaca makes sense. That's why it's so fluffy. And then in the dark red bag, I think this is the Brown Butter Blondie, which is Falkland Merino 40%, 20% Baby Camel, 20% Llama, and 20% Airy Silk. I think that's what that one is. Oh no, actually, this one's the Brown Butter Blondie in the light red bag that I just mentioned. And this one is the Caramel Kiss. Oh, I said it looks like caramel ice cream. That makes sense. The Caramel Kiss is 50% Merino and 50% Baby Camel. And then this one is the Llama Licious. So 50% Polworth, 30% Llama, and 20% Tussa Silk. Which makes sense. That's why it's so sparkly. Our small little sample, I believe, is the Cash Gora. Maybe we only get one or the other. Yes, this is a Cash Gora, so 100% white Cash Gora. I'm not really familiar with this fiber type. I'm gonna have to look it up later, but it's very soft. I would love to have a bunch of it, actually. And then our notions. So I think that's it. I would have loved to have tried the opulence. That looks really pretty. That's 50% cashmere and 50% mulberry silk. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, it was in there. I just didn't notice. Oh, that's nice. It's a fun little surprise. So we do get both of the samples. There's the cash gora in the white bag and the opulence in the red heart bag. I love mulberry silk. That's going to be really fun to spin. I'll have to make a bat out of that with some other things. So that is everything. Let's look at it all together. So here is our haul from Paradise Fibers for the month of February all together. So I couldn't log off today without showing you what I've been working on in the meantime. I did start working with some of the fiber from last month. This is the Crimson Valor. I have a really fun idea that I'm super excited about um, for a project. Uh, so I'm getting started on that hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, I can show you the full skein or maybe even the project that I want to work on itself. So stay tuned.
and thank you for watching.